Hello everyone and welcome to this micro learning session by Nursing Education Network. This presentation is all about intended learning outcomes. So key learning outcomes, we're going to look at an overview of the intended learning outcomes or otherwise known as ILOs. So we're going to describe what are intended learning outcomes, the purpose of them, and provide some examples, so keywords that you can use when you're setting the ILOs for an education program. So what are intended learning outcomes? ILOs are explicit statements of what a learner is expected to achieve and to what standard or level of achievement. Key reading for these topics on ILO are bigs and tang. When we're setting the ILO, we need to set and think of what is the purpose of the education? What is the aim of the education? And what are the key outcomes we hope to achieve? They're not just a list of topics that will be covered in the education program. Looking at the objectives and outcomes from the focus for the delivery of education, Components such as skills, what students should be able to do at the end of course completion, what knowledge should they know, what attitudes, opinions about the subject matter. We can then start to align the intended learning outcomes with assessments and learning activities and scaffold the education, linking this with organising levels of expertise in relation to Bloom's taxonomy from concrete to abstract in the hierarchy of knowledge and building the nurse training or healthcare training in a constructivist manner. So looking at the skills, knowledge, attributes of ILOs, some examples here of setting the ILO using strong action verbs. Here are the key references for this presentation. Please visit us our Nursing Education Network blog for more nursing and healthcare education theory. Thank you.